Facebook was just beginning his first period of U.S. history class when he was interrupted by gunfire. As soon as I heard the shots, I knew that people were dying. Polk says he knew the loud banging was the sound of bullets because of his two decades working with the San Juan County Sheriff's Office. He turned off all the lights and just waited for it to unfold and whatever was going to happen and heard more shots. And he says he told all of his students to get down. The sound of those shots I'll never forget. He hit an alarm button at his desk, notifying the office there was an emergency. Polk says he told his students to grab objects in his classroom to protect themselves. I told my kids, get books, get a, a book to protect your chest. He says he did all he could to protect the students in his class. I've got 20 right here that are not going to die today. Not today. This is not their time. He says he couldn't help thinking about the students who were caught in the crossfire, like Casey Jordan. One of the girls was... A student of mine, sweet, sweet kid, didn't know it at the time, but I knew my kids were dying. Polk says he heard a crash outside his classroom door. Then moments later, a police officer appeared in and gave him a thumbs up, signaling they were safe. Polk says there was a body laying outside his classroom door when they finally evacuated. Reporting in Aztec, Justin Matthews, KOAT, Action 7 News. <laughs>